precision medicine. I hear that it was valued, uh, the market was valued at about 74 billion US dollars in oh, 2022. Yeah. And it's estimated to grow to 174, if I remember correctly, by 2030, which is at roughly almost 12% growth. And oncology and uh, rare disease having the bigger chunk of that growth or leading the growth. And so how do you feel things are progressing in precision medicine and genomics? And what do you find most exciting there? So first of all, I want to maybe correct a misconcept about precision medicine. Precision medicine or personalized medicine. When you talk about that, everybody only think about genomic side of precision medicine. We are missing lifestyle and environmental. Mm -hmm. All of those investments you mentioned, they are on genomics or a bigger one, omics, is protomics, metabolomics, mm -hmm. microbiomics, all of those biomarkers. All of those investment, in, it's only in that one of the fourth main data component for precision medicine. This is omics, health data, lifestyle, and environment. Mm -hmm. And in my, in my white paper, I recommended that the fifth one would be SDOH, Social Determinant of Health. Because there are some factors we are missing in these four, but that one should be the fifth one. But SDOH is a very complex, it's an umbrella term as well. So when For you're sure. saying that it's not one term, like genetics is an easy thing. You, yeah, that. Exactly. you look at it yeah, exactly. under the microscope or whatever. Because it's in lab, is it yes, tangible, controlled. we can do it. It's, okay, I want to invest this. Yes. But if we want to go for precision medicine or personalized plan, Yes. We need all of those information. 